Hello. It's good to see you. Why are you in my pantry? It doesn't matter. Let's talk for a minute. So I'm coming in here so that way I can get sandwich bread to make a sandwich because we still love to eat sandwiches, even though we grow a lot of things on the homestead. Obviously, Jordan loves tomato sandwiches, and I like a good chicken or a pork sandwich since that is what we grow. That being stated, one of the worst things you can do coming into a pantry is realizing you have no bread. That's like the worst thing ever because then you can't make a sandwich. Man, that would suck. That would really suck. That being stated, we don't buy bread at the store anymore. We make our own. And if you've ever wanted to make your own bread, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you how to make regular old sandwich bread. Come on, let's go. No, I... this... come on. We're going to be using a scale to measure out all of our ingredients and the first thing that we want to do is bloom our yeast. First thing you're going to want to do is measure out 174 grams or three quarters of a cup of water. Mix that with 125 grams or a half cup of whole milk. Once you've got that all measured out then we're going to heat up this mixture to about a 98 degrees. We're going to use this little thermometer here so that way we don't go over that because you don't want it too hot or you will kill your yeast. Once you've got that up to temperature you're going to want to add nine grams or one tablespoon of dry active yeast and then you're going to stir that in continuously until it is all mixed together. Once that's completed you're going to cover it lightly with some plastic wrap and then stick that on the counter for about 10 minutes while it blooms. While we're waiting on our yeast to bloom, we're going to go ahead and grab our scale in a bowl and then zero it out and then mix the rest of our ingredients. To start off this mixture, we're gonna do 440 grams or three cups of bread flour. We're gonna add 21 grams or one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar. Mix that with eight grams or one tablespoon of sea salt. Once we've got all that together, we're going to whisk that together until it is thoroughly mixed together. Once you've got all of your ingredients whisked together, then we're going to set up our KitchenAid mixer. We will be using the kneading attachment, so if you're going to be using one of these, make sure you have that attachment for your mixer. Once you've got everything set up, make sure you add your flour mixture into the bowl. And then go ahead and raise up your bowl and turn it to low to medium speed. Once the mixture has started, you can go ahead and add your bloomed yeast to your flour mixture, and it'll start kneading everything together. During this process, you will be scraping the sides of your bowl. Please make sure to be safe when doing this. Please turn the mix mixer off, and that way you don't get your fingers caught. We don't need anybody getting their fingers caught and losing it in their bread. If you have any issues with the mixing of your bread, you can always stop the machine and use your hand to mix some of the bread together. But what you eventually want to get out of it is you want to get a nice smooth dough. Once you've got a smooth dough going, then you're going to add three tablespoons or 41 grams, one tablespoon at a time to your mixture and then knead that in consistently. Once you have your butter all mixed in, then your dough is going to start looking smooth. Once you've reached the smooth dough phase, go ahead and let that knead itself for another 30 seconds to a minute. Turn it off and then let your dough rest. While you're letting your dough rest, now is a good time to go ahead and grease up the bowl that you're going to be putting your dough in. So just take a little stick of butter and make sure you get that bowl nice and greasy. Go ahead and remove your dough from your mixture and start working it into a ball until it has become smooth and round. Place your dough ball into your greased bowl and cover with a damp towel and let sit for an hour to an hour and a half or doubled in size. Once your dough has doubled in size, lightly dust your work surface with some all-purpose flour. Plop your dough down and begin rolling it out about a half an inch thick and about the size and width of your bread pan.
Once the size you need, start rolling up your flattened dough until plump like this and place gently into your bread pan. Cover with a damp towel and let sit for about an hour to an hour and a half or doubled in size again. Once your dough has risen, we're gonna go ahead and set our oven to 350 degrees and then cook this bread for about 35 to 40 minutes. Once your timer communicates with you that your bread is done, you're going to remove it from the oven and then separate the bread pan from your bread and let your bread set out until it is completely cool. And there you have it, you guys. You have made your very own bread loaf. So why don't you guys go ahead and get ready to make yourself that perfect sandwich you love to make so much.